Are you nervous? No, I'm, I want to become best friends with your sister. See? How are you? How would you feel about that? I'm fine. Uh-huh. What is this wine? Walgreens, Rothschilds. Uh, we have a Moscato in the fridge, if that's more your taste. <laughs> I think Postmates delivers wine. Is this one of yours? Yes. Very old piece. He hates that I put that up there. At some point, you got to move on. Oh, except that you have them, though, right? Made a piece in what, the two years? It's just that you're my muse, and I don't see you often enough, Chiroy. <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh my gosh, stop. Mm -hmm. You are too much. Thank you. Right. Let it reach. He's still salty we didn't use him as our realtor. As you can tell. Mm -hmm. Horrible. How can you stand like No, 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 sweetie. You don't know the first thing about Chicago real estate. Oh, he must like you because he is really showing his ass. <laughs> Isn't he always? <laughs> Overpaid, Bree. It's not just the inside that counts. It's close to the gallery. Yeah, it's very practical. Okay, what is wrong with it? Well, nothing. As I told my sister many times, neighborhood is haunted. Everywhere is haunted. Uh -uh, Troy, do not start with that. Sure, 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 but why'd you have to choose a place that used to be called Smoky Hollow, then Little Hell, then what is it, uh, Combat Alley? What's it called now? Cabrini Green. It was a project. It's affordable housing that had a particularly bad reputation. You would never know. Yeah, because they tore down and gentrified the shit out of it. Translation, white people built the ghetto and then erased it when they realized they built the ghetto. Ooh, no offense. None taken. They took the opportunity to make it livable. I could have got you a better conversion. They kept telling people they were going to make it better, moving them from place to place, but really, they were just tearing it down so they could develop everything around it. Oh, like here. You guys want to hear a scary story? No. Too bad. <clears throat> but I voted no. Troy. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> this better be good. <laughs> This is a story about a woman named Helen Lyle. She was a grad student, a white grad student, doing her thesis on the urban legends of Cabrini Green. For research, she came down to Cabrini a few times, you know, asking questions, taking pictures of graffiti, people. And then, one day, she just snapped. She beheaded a Rottweiler. By the time the police show up, she's in one of the apartments doing snow angels in a pool of blood. Ew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I There's no you way get this she, from? she killed a Rottweiler. Yeah, this is extra even for you. There are articles written about this. Look it up. <laughs> the authorities take her in, but she escapes almost immediately. She goes on a rampage, leaving a trail of bodies in her wake, and then. The baby of one of the residents is abducted. The mother is devastated. Everyone is looking for him. And nothing on the night of the annual bonfire with all of the residents of Cabrini watching. Helen arrives with a sacrificial offering. Baby in her arms, she runs towards the fire, but they're on her quick. They say she was in a, in a fugue state, fighting back blindly. But they got the baby free. While everyone is fussing over him, Helen stands up and walks right into the fire. And it's on that spot that she dies, burns to death, right in the middle of Cabrini Green. <laughs> is my rosé still in the freezer? You don't want the Moscato? Moscato is a dessert wine. <laughs> Bye, Boo Green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, love you. Mm -hmm. And Anthony, get painting. My sister's not trying to support you the rest of her life. Put down those weights, pick up them brushes. Troy. Ah. It's funny. He is ridiculous. He's right. Just glad Troy is finally dating someone normal. I was 
was getting exhausted trying to keep up with all those European fashion designers. Hello? What time is Clive coming tomorrow? 10 a.m. You feeling good about what you're showing? Uh, I think so. Uh, some stuff you might enjoy. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, huh. I guess you did kill a Rottweiler. Damn. I don't care. I'm not trying to get creeped out in my new apartment before bed. Your new apartment is ghost proof. It was on the Zillow list there. Our new apartment. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> hmm. Who are you, man? Uh, well. <laughs> this is Anthony McCoy of two years ago. I want the Anthony McCoy of the future. I want the great black hope of the Chicago art scene of tomorrow. That's the guy that I gave a solo show to straight out of grad school. Look, I really don't want to have to go through the trouble of replacing you in the summer show, but you're the only person who hasn't shown me what I'm actually putting up. I'm working on something. I dig into that history of yours, dude. I'm, I'm thinking about doing something about the projects. And about how uh, white supremacy. White people. Yeah, how it, it, it creates these spaces of, of rampant neglect for communities of color, and particularly black communities. Yeah, 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 like where you're from. Yeah, Brownsville. Yeah, Southside is kind of played. Uh, or Cabrini Green. Bye, babe. Oh, don't forget we have your moms tonight. Seven. Bye.